Namaste. Namaste. Hello everybody, welcome to Sankalpa Yoga Studio at Chukube Resort here in Grenada. And this is just a little video we have put together for you to have a little bit of a restorative moment. So uh, my name is Magdalena Fielden and this is one of our yoga studios, Swati. And Swati, you want to say a little bit about this? Welcome all of you. I'm from India and I've been teaching from almost nine years now. Yoga is in my blood because my father is my guru. He has been teaching us from childhood. So just here to share some of my experiences with you all. Starting with, we have some props here, but you don't have to have all of them. We have a bolster, a blanket, a belt can be modified into a strap or a towel, a block. If you don't have these props, do not worry. You can use any of your items in the house like a pillow or something like that, a towel. So let's move ahead with our restorative yoga. We'll be focusing more on the spine today because you guys are sitting and working for long hours. So we'll work on the posture and correcting the spine and relaxing the upper back a little bit. Let's give a start. Sit in any comfortable seated posture. You can stretch your legs forward if you are not able to sit and cross leg. Palms on your knees. Start moving inward. Close your eyes to avoid any distractions from outside. Allow the natural rhythm, the natural pace of your breath play its role. Be a spectator. Sit bone grounded. Keep lengthening your spine upward. Feel as if a string is attached to your head. Pulling the cervical up. Relaxing the shoulders down. As we move forward in our practice, start conscious breathing, inhale deeply in every posture you are, exhale out slow. Conscious breathing to send more oxygen to vital body parts organs while you are in the posture to allow you to relax better deep breathing allows to warm up the body faster avoid any injuries relax calm the mind down warm up our spine before we move ahead and open your eyes gently palms are on your knees for the first inhalation elbows are bent push the belly chest out look up towards the ceiling as you exhale chin towards the chest straighten up your elbows Shoulder blades pushed away. 
Two more rounds of crow and tie. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One last time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Explore your spine. Feel the vertebras expanding and contracting. Inhale into a neutral spine. As you inhale, take your hands by the sides. Exhale. Right palm or forearm on the floor. Left goes over and above the head. You look up towards the ceiling. Giving space to your rib cage. Stretching your obliques. If you find any strain in your neck, look down towards your right palm. One deep last breath here. You inhale to your next breath, lift yourself up, exhale to the other side. Conscious breathing throughout. One last breath here. With the next inhalation, lift yourself up. Exhale, release the arms down. Fingertips by the sides. Inhale here. As you exhale, drop your right ear towards the right shoulder. important to work on your cervical, your neck region. So that's the area which collects all the stress, accumulates the all day tension. Slowly drop your head towards the armpit, stretching the neck diagonally. back to the right shoulder. Lift the head slowly up. And you exhale. Left ear towards the left shoulder. Feel the juicy stretch.
slowly tilt your head down towards the armpit. the ear back again towards the shoulder before you lift the head up. Interlace fingers behind. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift the chest up gently. Head up. And do exhale. Fold forward. For any reason, if your shoulders are troubling you, you can release your hands, relax. With the next inhalation, prepare yourself to lift up. Release your legs. Wide open them. Throughout any posture, do not push yourself hard. Listen to your body. Go as, as far as your body takes you today. Bring your right foot in, turn the torso towards the left leg. Inhale here and you exhale very gently dropping the shoulder towards the left. Take modifications as per your body requires to keep a block or a pillow just above your knee to rest your forehead over it. Keeping the straight leg active all the time is of priority. Keeping the toes active towards you, legs
take one last breath here with the next inhalation slowly lift your spine up stretch your right leg out bring the left leg in turn the torso towards the side you exhale fold while you are in the posture and the mind goes to wander allow it to do so without getting attached or going deep into those thoughts keep pulling it back towards your mind to the present moment the easier way to handle and tackle the mind right now is to observe your breath while you are in the posture Feel the stretch in your calf muscles, hamstring. With the next inhalation, gently push yourself up. Stretch both the legs forward. You can bend your knees gently. Place a pillow or a small bolster underneath your knee, moving into a forward fold like the spine is warmed up already. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, stretches your body from the crown of your head all the way towards the toes, giving a complete stretch to your body, lengthening your spine, giving space between the vertebras. People those who have very deep 
chronic lower back pain should avoid the posture or can do it with the props as right now Magdalena is doing. Slowly prepare to drag yourself up with the next inhalation. Do not jerk. Moving to a tabletop. Shoulder and wrist in one line. Legs are hip width apart. You can cushion your knees with blanket underneath it. Spine is neutral as you inhale. Take your right hand up towards the ceiling. Look up. As you exhale, thread the needle. Right arm underneath the left armpit. If you are very much comfortable here, you can take the left hand behind for a bind. Massaging the outer part of your shoulders. Giving a nice twist to your torso. Even a gentler twist like this will help you detoxify. When the organs against the vertebra are moving into a squeezed manner. That's the churning action against the spine. While you are in the posture, trying to bring your thoughts back to your breath. Send the inhalations to the challenging area. You have your left hand behind for a bind. Bring the palm down. 
Put the weight on the left palm. Push yourself up as you inhale. Take your right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Release the right hand down. Inhale. Left hand up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, press the needle. Feel any numbness in your left hand. Gently move the fingers. Stretching your right hand. Over and about the head is another modification. Keeping it next to your chest is also advisable. Basically, right now in this restorative session, we're trying to restore our spinal energy back into body. It's recharging your system. Giving the stretches required final movements required to let the energy flow back again into every cell, every atom of the body. If you have your right hand behind for a bind, bring it back next to your face or chest. Press through it to release the left hand up towards the ceiling. If you exhale, release the left palm down. Push your hip all the way towards the heel. Relax in child kosha shankasana. You need a block underneath. Your forehead, go ahead and use it. If not, make a block out of your fist. If the knees together are not allowing you to breathe properly, separate them gently so that the chest and the lungs are free to breathe. Find a comfortable position for you here. Either the arms stretch forward or by the side of your body. The name suggests Shashankasana, which is child pose. Restores your body, 
strengthens your leg push the abdomen towards the spine pushing the abdominal organs towards the spine giving you a body like a child very good posture for people suffering from lower back pain stretches your lumbar your lower back the next inhalation slowly lift yourself up take your time to go flat on your belly lie down hands by the side of the body palms facing up turn your head to any one bring your forehead to center palms by the side of your face gently lift yourself up into a supported cobra pose sphinx then look between your third eye center eyebrow center or your nose keep your shoulders relaxed neck lengthened do not hunch like this instead just keep lengthening your neck very good posture for people those who sit long on your office chair posture which gives the not normal natural curvature to your spine strengthening your lower back ideally the big toes should be together but if it's challenging you you can keep little bit distance between your feet Take one last breath here. With the next exhalation, open out your elbows to the side. Put your face on the floor, any one side.
Bend your knees. Do wiper movement to relax your lower back. Drop your legs side to side. Slowly take your time to go flat on your back, lie down, roll over. Knees are bent, legs are bit apart. Figure four, bring your right ankle on top of the left knee. You have a challenging tight hip, stay here. If you're comfortable, interlace fingers behind your left hamstring. Take the left leg up towards the ceiling. Both the toes are active, flexed, creating a figure four. If you feel your right knee is dropping towards the chest, use your right palm to direct it outwards. Hold the posture. Figure four here acts as a hip opener. Opening the hip, relaxing the muscles, the glutes around it. Hip joints are the biggest joints responsible for holding things, holding memories, things which we are not needed anymore. Opening up the hip joint allows us to remove that garbage out of the memory zone slowly. the next exhalation if your left leg is up release it down slowly release the right ankle from the left knee changing side bring the left ankle on top of the right knee you have an option of taking the right leg up towards the ceiling or leave it as it is, trying to keep the left knee away from your chest. With your next exhalation. If your right leg is up, slowly release it down. Remove the left ankle from top of the right knee. Bring your knees closer to the chest. Take the soles up towards the ceiling. 
into happy baby pose arms from inside holding the arch of the foot if you're not reaching the feet for some reason use a towel around it to hold it keeping the soles up towards the ceiling using a belt as a prop will also help as the soles are towards the ceiling knees and the thigh pressure is coming towards the abdomen posture helps you to reduce your belly fat relaxes your leg muscles people do you have constant issue of gas that's why it's called power mukta series gas releasing posture as we are preparing a video we have time constraints but you can pause your video whenever you feel like and hold the posture to longer which will give you a therapeutic effect while you are longer in the postures allowing each and every joint every nerve to stretch and give space Rock your happy baby side to side, gently massaging your spine. If you have a bolster or a pillow, place it underneath your lower back. Legs up towards the ceiling. If you don't want to use anything, use your palms. Use the balls to like this, just underneath your tailbone, with the legs up towards the ceiling. You can also use a wall to do this posture. To incorporate this posture in your daily practice for 10 to 15 minutes, keeping the legs up against the wall, or with a prop like this. If you're quite comfortable here hold the opposite elbows over and above the head leaving some space for your arms to breathe allowing the rib cage to expand holding this posture in making it into your day to day practice will strengthen your heart will drain out any excess fluid in your legs strengthens your digestive system working on your core muscles those who feel their core is very strong they don't need a prop their back is strong they don't need a wall can do the posture slowly increasing 1 minute every day hold this posture 
up to 15 minutes to half an hour. Do it for a month and see the difference. The agenda here is as the body is working, the mind has to be engaged. We'll be moving ahead into a five minutes of meditation. But if you want to pause the video and keep holding this posture longer, you can do so. Slowly remove any props from underneath. Move into a Shavasana, which is a dead body pose, a relaxing posture. If you're quite comfortable doing the meditation seated, you can come into a seated posture, take a wall support as you sleep, as you sit, sorry. Keeping a bolster underneath your knees encourages the entire spine to go flat on the floor, which avoids any lower back pain later on. Leave some space. For your armpits to breathe, palms facing up, fingers naturally curled, eyes gently closed. just above your diaphragm. Visualize color green. Balancing this chakra gives you contentment, happiness, and joy. These feelings come through it when you know that you are blessed. 
when you feel blessed, when you have the courage and time to pay gratitude to this universe. The courage to accept the fact that the universe is providing you enough. Enough what you need. Your wants may be more. But the universe has enough for every one of us. dark and bright days but just a form of this nature it's a cycle with every inhalation let's strengthen our heart Put in more courage. Take the fear out. Be sure and confirm that the universe has enough for us. Keep widening up your thought of the green color. your palms on your chest. Send the healing power of your hands to your heart chakra. Deep inhale with passion. As you exhale, be contented. Inhale with compassion. Exhale, feel the joy. Inhale, being stronger. preparing yourself to come out of this short meditative Shavasana. You can continue this Shavasana by working on your heart chakra, sending out positive thoughts with every inhalation, relaxing with every exhalation. The positive thoughts can be love, compassion, joy, healing,
slowly move your fingers and toes. Head side to side. Feet side to side. Bring your legs together. Hands reaching above your head, interlaced fingers. Inhale, give a tight stretch. As you exhale, release your hands. Relax. Bend your knees, roll over your right side. You can use your right bicep as a pillow. Take your time to come up into a seated posture. Facing the class. Head neck back straight. You can keep the legs forward, stretched out if you're not comfortable folding, bending your knees. Bring your palms to heart center, chin slightly lower, send out a prayer for all beings to be happy and free. May our thoughts and actions contribute towards it. this one more time. This time you can place the palms on a body part you feel is weak or has any previous injury. If not, place it on your chest. Strengthen your heart, expand your lungs. Take a deep inhalation. Feel out your eyes. If you open your eyes, give your palm. Namaste. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed.